Hi guys, it's me, it's Ann. I'm back, yep. And no, this is not going to be quite the same as some of my other talkies that I've been doing for the um, Christmas series, but this is part of the Christmas series. There have been people asking about what to do about getting somebody who is a makeup lover um, makeup for Christmas. Now, if you're talking about a real makeup lover, someone who has been doing the makeup thing for quite some time, do us all a favor, get them a gift certificate. Whether it's for Ulta or Sephora or a particular brand, just get them a gift certificate, wish them well, let them pick what they want because you're not going to know what they don't have. Now, if you've got somebody in your life who has, like, discovered YouTube or discovered Instagram and all of a sudden decides they must collect makeup and go do this, I'm going to show you something that you really want to think about. Now, this is the empty box. I've already taken everything out. But look at the size of this box. It goes on for days. Look at the numbers here. 89 pieces. $15. Pick it up at Walmart. Hmm. No, this is not sponsored in any make, manner, or description. Now... People will look at that and go, Ew, why would I want to get something like that? That's going to be awful. Well, not necessarily. <laughs> Everything that's on my face right now is out of that box. I did the whole thing except for my foundation because there's no foundation in there. There's no setting powders there's no primer so with the addition of a few things a very few things you've got a pretty impressive collection of stuff that actually works and right now they've also got brush collections so you can pick up an inexpensive brush set because the brushes that come in here are like useless they're like the the little tiny flat brushes that come in some um, blushers and stuff and then they've got some of the little um, sponge tip applicators and then they've got some other tiny little brush and I mean we're again talking like this with little like maybe six hairs in it for a brush and it's not worth it people will be frustrated just cut to the chase. With it only being $15, you can afford usually to pick up a bunch of inexpensive but very usable brushes. It's like, let me show you some of my favorites here. Now, all of these brushes, this is my face brush set. I've got an angle and a flat top. And a big powder brush and another little brush. These are pretty basic and they're from Wet n Wild. So we're talking about a couple of bucks a brush. And if you go to Dollar Tree, you can get some of these for a dollar a brush. Now, also from Wet n Wild, no, we are not sponsored, but you can get. A basic eye makeup brush set pretty quick I mean you've got this one it's a flat 
not terribly thick. There's this one, which is a little smudger. This one that is one of the flats, but it's much thicker. You can get away with packing color with this as well as blending some out because it's got the extra floof there. This one's more for like packing and placing or crease cutting. This one works for crease cutting. This one's just a big fluffy blender brush and this is a slightly less fluffy br blender brush. Basic set of eye tools. Basic set of face brushes. And a bunch of makeup that okay it's not you know Natasha Denona but if you've got somebody who's just getting started they don't need Natasha Denona it's like that's some expensive stuff and you really want to actually know what you're doing if you're going to mess with that Because it's just, it's expensive. And you really want to have a clue before you start doing the expensive stuff. Now, these things, these little tools, they're very handy. Very, very handy. He's also then going to be looking at the makeup itself. Now, most of the stuff that's in here, they've got five lipsticks, most of which are in various shades of red or pink. They've got some dark ones. They've got some light ones. They've got three eye pencils three lip pencils. The eye pencils, are they've got a black, a brown, and a blue. That's it. The lip pencils is three shades of pink. They actually have two different eyeliners that are not that bad. A brown one and a black one. You just screw the little lid off. It's got a little brush in there. It's not the world's best, but it's not bad. It's, it doesn't like run like crazy like some of them do. Um, you know, and that, that happens with, regardless of how expensive it is. They have eight, count them, eight nail polishes. It's not a great Arkin huge nail polish, but it's a nail polish. Now, don't, don't look at my fingers. They're, 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 I've been tearing mine up. Um, there are... Now, one of the problems is because of the way these sets work, you may not be able to work with it very well if you've got a darker skin tone. Because... Okay, here's the lumin the illuminator. This is their their palette, which is just a little little box. And this has got just some glittery stuff to use for a highlight. Even though they have another one that says highlight. Now, some of the medium tone skin tones may be able to work with some of this because some of it, there's enough color difference. This is the contour and highlight. And I'm going, okay. Now, I used the darker contour one down here to do the bits on the side of my nose because 
My nose is a little bit tiny, so it's hard to see. So I put a little contour on there and then a little highlighter on the top so you can find the little thing. Um, but there are some of the colors in these little palettes that would probably work on medium to medium dark like this one this one is considered a bronzer but there's a color up here that makes a pretty good contour for a darker skin tone and this these lower two down here may work for a um blush or bronzer for people with a you know something something a good deal darker than me they're not little sets like this are not perfect but when you're talking about somebody who's just getting started and they've got to learn all of the techniques as well as how to deal with their colors this is not that bad because you've got ranges of colors in these little palettes this is the blusher that or at least the blusher palette they're calling it i've got this one on mine on my cheekies currently and I kind of, you know, wherever you warm up the face, I've got kind of a little bit of one of the bronzers and that slightly peachy blush here and there so that I got some color around the edges of my face and in the center and all that lovely stuff. Now, along with the eyeliners they also have a pretty good mascara it's not it does pretty good putting some length on it is not good for volume but you know the brush isn't too bad the formula is not too bad like I said it will put length on but if you're looking for volume this is not your friend but it's not horrible it's a good starting point. The eyeshadow palettes. There are four multicolor eyeshadow palettes that are in this. We've got this one. There is one of my favorites in here so far this one this one now this pale pink here is what's up here it's kind of nifty I kind of like it what I've got up just at the edge of the brow right there now the rest of this stuff let's see I've got it was that smoky with all the grays in it this gray is what I used for the eyeliner I took an angled brush and just dipped into that glitter well shimmer shadow sprayed it with a little bit of um setting spray and did myself my eyeliner with that instead of using the um the liquid eyeliners because i wanted to try and see what what i could do with this stuff i was having fun i was playing with it now, the last palette, which I'm really actually enjoying, is this one that has the rest of the colors that I've got on my eyes. 
I put some of the darker pink, this darker pink into the crease. This olive green is what's on the lid. It's not bad. And the kind of teal right here is what I've got under the eyes. These surprised me quite a bit. I expected them to be a lot less colorful. I expected them to not build up even. I mean, you know, $15 for all of this stuff. So, yeah. No, it's not a great horking huge fancy box full of stuff. It's, it's not dogs. It's not a really high-end kind of situation. But when you're first getting started, high-end is a iffy situation. I mean, some high-end palettes, you have to know your techniques really well to be able to use correctly. This is a good place to start. Like I said, you got somebody who's a, a real makeup lover, been doing it a while, give them a gift certificate. Let them go pick out what they want from whatever store and pick out something that they that they know they don't already have or they want to replace or you know they need you know just some new stuff and they want to go get it and here go get it you know it's like they've already done all of their other palettes on either YouTube or Instagram and they need a new palette to do a review on but you know like you're looking at, at one of your kids who's just gotten into it or a grandkid that's just gotten into it. You know, it's this is not bad for a starting point. And I've actually enjoyed working with this to try it out because I wasn't just going to buy it and show it to you. I wanted to make sure that the materials work. So, yeah, they work, and it's not a bank breaker. You know, that box and a little set of brushes and a makeup bag is not bad for a present. You probably, depending on how you want to do it, you may want to actually stick a, a gift card of some sort in because, you know, these kids and these new timers, they're going to like want some foundation and they're going to want, you know, some setting spray because everybody does setting spray anymore. They might want to try a primer. Now, if it's somebody who's fairly young, they probably will not need a face primer if their face is fairly clear. You'd probably be more interested in a primer if they've got skin issues that they want to help cover up or, you know, their, their pores are huge, so they want to blur them. And you're going to want to do things like, you know, the eye, the eyeshadow primer, because that actually does help. It makes a stickier base for the eyeshadows to hang on to. Um, you know, cleansers and all of that thing, and loose powder and pressed powder, and yeah, you could go a little deep in the pocket, getting all of that for the first run. You may not want to go quite so far with picking up everything. Some of it's going to have to be shade matched, like the foundation and the setting powders and that kind of thing. But there are ways to get it that are not as expensive. Go to the drugstore. 
go to Target. You know, with some of this, again, go to the dollar store. I got most of my wet and wild brushes from the dollar store. Yes, I'm cheap, okay? I live on disability. I gotta be cheap. Besides, staying on a budget is part of my, my focus on this channel. Give it a look. If it's, some, if it's somebody in your life who has all of a sudden decided that they need to have, you know, makeup that will work on Instagram, this will work. This picture, the, the, there's going to be the thumbnail picture from the video will be on Instagram shortly. But give it a thought. Give it a look. This is the time of year to get this kind of thing because usually the big gift sets are only out at Christmas. You know, a couple of inexpensive makeup sponges, the brushes, big set, little makeup bag. Please, get the makeup bag because you already can expect that the new makeup queen or king or whatever is going to be going oh oh I must take all my makeup with me in case of a makeup emergency and they're gonna need a makeup bag eventually they'll get over this they really will eventually you know it's like let them play this isn't so bad to, of a way to get them actually introduced to, to doing the techniques. And the colors aren't so bad. Then they work pretty well. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've never been here before, please subscribe. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. Hi, how are you? If you subscribe, please hit the little bell notification so that you get information whenever I upload. Be good.